French are great chefs because they work for great chefs, but you know, the Italians were better cooks because we learned from our mothers and our grandmothers. I think my love of cooking comes from uh, both my mother and my grandmother. They just do things simply and they care about it. And you know, it's more about just cooking to make people happy and make people feel welcome and feel warm. Being in the kitchen with my family, it was always loud. It was always a lot of yelling, but it was awesome. It was great. It was, you know, a place I always felt at ease. My mom was a Chicago police lieutenant for 28 years. So I think we both just enjoyed kind of thriving in chaos. I was 16 years old, I worked in a restaurant. I remember telling my dad that one day I'm gonna buy a restaurant. I dropped out of college, I got into culinary school, and a week later I started a restaurant called Table 52 for uh, Chef Art Smith. There was no looking back at that point. Worked all the way up to be executive chef and retained the Michelin star for the whole time I was there. So it was a really, really incredible experience working for you know Tony Montuano, one of the greatest Italian chefs in America. And now uh, I'm opening my own little restaurant called Rosemary, named after my two grandmothers, my Irish grandmother, who was my grandma Rose, and my Italian grandmother, who was my grandma Mary. Naming it after the two matriarchs of my family just made a lot of sense to me. Rosemary, for me, is it's very much about like where my life has come. You know, growing up cooking Italian food with my grandmother, um, meeting my wife, whose family is Croatian and has that heritage. And it's about those things kind of coming together. Cooking is just a way to carry traditions and tell stories like nothing else. I want people to feel that they're eating by food like they're at the home of someone they love.